Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Been gone for a little bit again. I did say I would try to do uh, do a video for every match day, but since the Frank Lampard out video, which took me a long time actually to make, surprisingly, and with Thomas Tuchel being appointed as Chelsea manager, there's not much that I can possibly predict about the match. I mean, you know, you can take it from my point of view. There's <laughs> a new manager. You don't know how he's going to play, who he's going to play. But I'm just going to quickly go over the Chelsea versus Wolves match. This match excites me a lot about what's going to happen in the future. The way we play, the people who played. I don't think I can say one bad thing about anyone except for possibly Olivier Giroud because he just didn't seem on the top of his block. Another person I can say is Edouard Mendy who as you might be able to see in screen made a terrible mistake that nearly cost us a goal we got very lucky. But I 100% agree with the commentators and with the Premier League. I think Callum hunter Adoy had to be that man of the match. I think he played amazingly and Wolves nearly scored in the 90th minute. But Callum was there tracking back as a right wing back to come and defend. But in order to help us predict the new lineup of Chelsea, let's look at the stats of the other one. So it did end 0-0. But it was a very, very good game. Similar to Frank Lampard's style of football, it was a little bit possession based, but a lot more. We had 80% possession nearly in the whole game. That is just amazing. We hardly let them touch the ball. And when they did have the ball, someone came in and either intercepted it or tackled them straight away and we had the ball again. We also had a lot of shots. Uh, some of the honourable mentions of shots were Kovacic shot that nearly went in that was really good Kai Havertz as well his header in like the 93rd minute that would have been amazing if it went in but unfortunately it didn't and yeah the amount of corners that we managed to accumulate was amazing and at that point that's why I would have probably liked Kurt Zuma and that's why I think Kurt Zuma might work more on these teams than Antonio Rudiger it's because with the amount of corners we've got I think he's better in aerials and winning those headers. Looking towards the lineup, we played a 3-4-2-1, which was a bit of a weird formation. Everyone thought that he was going to go for a 4-2-3-1 or something like that, with Aspilicueta at right back, Thiago Silva and Antonio Rudiger as the two centre backs, Ben Chilwell of left at left back, and you can kind of understand what he would do elsewhere. And this was really interesting. I was actually um, having a conversation with my mum, beloved mother. Um, who doesn't really care, but I spoke anyway, about the new manager and what he could do and how different it could be to Frank Lampard. And I said something about Cesar Aspilicueta and how he's not really going to be picked a lot, even though he's our captain, because he's been maining at right back for the past few years now. However, he was at his best when he was at a centre back for us. So I, I thought he could change him back to a centre-back and he might be playing a lot better. And honestly, if we can't get Diet Upimakano, who we've been looking to get, I think when Thiago Silva eventually leaves, which will be very sad because he's been amazing, Aspilicueta might be able to fill in that role. So I was really happy when I realised Aspilicueta is playing at centre-back and we were playing so attackingly that the two centre-backs on the wings were overlapping at some points, Cesar Aspilicueta was higher than Callum hudson Adoy and Hakim Zic. Callum hudson Adoy, as I mentioned, I thought was the best player on the pitch. He played right wing back or right mid, but he was very de like dependent on defending and I think he did really well. I think also in the attack, several times he was unlucky for people not to get on the end of his crosses and his passes. I think the second best player on the pitch for me would have to be Mateo Kovacic. <laughs> In the last video, I called him a dead fish because he was just running wildly for no reason. And this time, he was running like a dead fish, but for a reason. He had a drive in him. He wanted the ball back as quickly as possible. Wolves have got the ball, boom. He's going to go and get a tackle, get a slide, whatever it is, and try and get the ball. Which is something we haven't seen from Chelsea in a long time, excepting Mason Mount. I also think Jorginho really changed his game, differing to Sari ball. He got the ball and he passed it forward. 
on several occasions in the first half. I think our team's probably not used to being so attacking and so forward playing. Probably got tired in the second half because I didn't see as much of it. But all Georgina would normally do was get the ball from Aspilicueta, turn around, look forward, and then turn around again and pass it to Rudiger or Silva. That's what he would have done. But the tactics changed and I really do love that. I think Ben Chilwa played an okay game. We didn't have much to do defensively, so I can't say much for the defenders because Mateo Kovacic was just picking everything up in the midfield. He did have a really good chance, Ben Chilwell, and he did miss it, um, which is kind of sad, but hey. And we have Hakim Ziyech, who I think he played a really nice game. He normally always looks to be on his left foot, but he did take a chance with his right, right foot, and that does show that he's progressing. He didn't score it, and it wasn't on target. Was it on target? I don't know. <laughs> But you can see a change in his mental mind, mental mi in <clears throat> in his mind, um, and so I'm pretty happy about that. I don't think Kai Havertz had a great game. I mean, his header in like the 93rd minute would have been amazing for us, but I think he improved significantly, and I can't wait for him to feature in more matches. The um, runs he was making is amazing. And the dribbles he was doing on the ball and shielding people off was great. And I don't have much to say for Olivier Giroud um, because he didn't really get into the game. We did have Mason Mount come on and Pulisic, but that was later. Tammy Abraham, I thought should have come on, or I thought Timo Werner really should have come on um, after half time because Giroud just didn't look like he was going to get into the game. And he brought Tammy Abraham on, but it wasn't even before the second half. He brought it, him in in like the 70th minute. I think in the 80th minute he brought in Mason Mount and Christian Pulisic and that surge of energy was amazing. Um, and I think he would definitely want to be picking Mason Mount again because I think he's probably seen his brilliance. I've decided to go for a 4-4-2. I think that just fits the team the best. Um, I think that's what he's going to go with. I think it's a great way to play two strikers like Timo Werner and the other striker will be in form so I do think Timo Werner is going to play that's the first person I'm going to put in left striker I'm going to go for Tammy Abraham because he's kind of in form um, and I want to see what he does with Timo Werner because I really liked what I saw in the Barnsley game on the right mid position I'm going to go for Callum hudson Odoi. I don't know how I can't left mid I'm going to go for Christian Pulisic I also liked what I saw from him in the game uh, one of the centre mid positions I'm going to go for Mason Mount I think he uh, showed Thomas Tuchel what he was made of towards the end of the Wolves. At left centre mid, I'm going to go for Mateo Kovacic. I think he played really, really well. At right back, I think I'm going to go for Reese James. I don't think he's going to play as for the Quetta. I think he's just going to try and go for the best team instead of experience like he did in the Wolves game. In the left back spot, I'm going to go for Ben Chilwell. I think it's pretty much a given. He's just our best left back. I don't know what to say. And as a centre back pairing, I'm going to go for Thiago Silva and Zuma. Our best pairing, I think. And in goal, I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go for Mendy. But it's not a given because he did make a lot of mistakes recently. Now, <laughs> these graphics or whatever, it's probably going to look terrible. That's because it's kind of late and I can't really be bothered <laughs> to do the animations. I will do it in the next videos, but I've been busy. So I'm literally using createformation.com. So there you go. This is editing here. I completely forgot to do a match prediction and I predict a 2-1 win against Burnley. And I don't know who's gonna score, but I'm gonna hope and with Tuchel's formation and stuff, I think it could and most likely will be Timo Werner. So, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and um, like the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.